Well, let's continue then. And see what the second mission has to offer for us and disciples. Oh, it wasn't in Steam, apparently. Interesting. All right, let's load a Saga. And let's start a second mission. Apparently over here we've got an orc guarding a pass. Gobs up there. Got some skeletons in Templar over there. All right, this is a fairly interesting setup. So at the start here, we have a Berserker, this guy and that guy. I think what we're going to do let's grab Possessed, put him right there. And let's just begin by going over here to attack these goblins or... I suppose it not really matter who, who I attack really, but... Um... Actually, I'm time to go after these guys here because they're the strongest. Maybe I'll do that. Attack these guys. So let's talk a little bit about these guys here. We got basically a skeleton who's a deceased archer who has been conjured with necromatic powers from the realms of the dead. Um, he's basically an archer undead. Basically, he's got you know um, a bow who can attack anyone. I want to talk about this guy here though, is the Templar. A right cleansing renders the chosen immune to the elements afterwards that are known as Templars. These guys here are essentially the undead's level two unit, and they're really interesting. In that they basically don't have like you know a whole lot of extra damage or HP compared to like other like you know tertiary units. But they have, have these wards, which basically make us that are immune to like attacks from fire, water, earth, and air on the first enca uh, encounter. So, um, this guy's got, not going to do any damage because he's got source damage of fire when he hits this guy here. Just to throw it out there. You won't hear this guy at all. And let's see here. I think we want to hit this guy first before he basically kills this guy. You go after him and he miss apparently. He gets hit there because you know what happens. Hit him. There's the war basically going off, so he basically avoids that her first hit on himself. Kill that arch before it kills my guy. Hit him. He doesn't um, prevent the second hit, but whatever. He's dead, and we get a nice little experience boost from that. All right, so that guy survived. He's a little bit injured, but he's still alive. Now they're guarding something up here. It's more undead over there, apparently. I think we'll get out the spy, perhaps. To do a little bit of exploring for us, maybe? So we got basically a Warlock in here. A Warrior and a Templar. Warlocks are basically a second tier unit for the Undead, and the Templars are also second tier, and then, you know, Warriors are first tier. So, interesting. I've only got 350 gold left at this point, so... I can't really build much. Might be building a temple soon, but... Ah, I think we're good for now. Okay, we've got the Mountain Clans base to fight this time. King Almark II, Lord of the Mountain Clans. Surrender now while you still live.
Oh, we got this guy too. So, Arx is Kafar, um, his car, Lord of the Empire. The high fire will be pleased with your destruction. Makes sure fighting two guys apparently. All right, this guy leveled up, so I guess to get you know get something else. Um, it's usually a good idea to get leadership for these guys on like the second tier, so that they can basically do more stuff with like units. So let's get leadership. Then I think we're gonna go back here. And by the way, this guy moves a little bit far, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna leave this guy right here. And let's hire up. So this guy, I think he takes two slots. Yeah, basically, basically, if you take two slots, it takes two leadership to take them along. These guys. That's basically how it works. So, cool. We'll have this guy go attack the goblins next. This guy's in the back, so he's super protected from attack, so... Bang. Bang. Nice hit. Little bit of experience for it. Now this guy's gonna have trouble walking around here because of, like, all the stuff around, so... We'll send him over here, maybe. We're apparently surrounded by lots of water, apparently, so... Interesting. Out into the water he goes, I guess, to explore around for us. There is a, a resource back here, but... I wonder if my uh, train can get around to it or not. Here's a question, are those guys at war with each other, or are they only at war with me? This is a game that, you know, I've only played like for the first time, I never actually played this game before, so... There'll be a lot of questions like that I have to ask myself. You know, I'm trying to go after these warriors over here. I could do it with these guys, so... Let's take him on. Now here's a ghost. Basically these guys can paralyze your units so they can not act. They're not very accurate at only 65% chance, but they can be a real doozy to fight if you're not careful. Okay, I want to have... Probably should have switched these up before fighting, but whatever. Um, hit this guy. You can hit that guy. You can hit this guy. You can hit the Barbarian. Twice, apparently. We'll kill both of those guys off. Bang. Bang. There we go, we got a little bit of experience for all that. I need to go in here and restructure this party a little bit, so we'll put those guys like that. Your request. Now it takes a lot to move along the ocean here, so you have to really be careful of that. With like, you know, um, land-based units like the thief here. But my other heroes can fly over it, so it's not a big an issue for them. Now, is this going to spread over here, I wonder? Yes, yes. We'll take this. I may have to get a fly plane over here to get this. I'm not sure. Kill him. As you and let's have you go first against this guy. Hit this guy. I did that so they have to attack this guy for sure. So I might have actually been able to kill him off if I uh, 
Play my attacks better. That's done. It's exploring around the thief. Very slowly. I might want to start building some stuff in here, I think. Maybe look at these guys, perhaps. So I think it's probably going to be a, a, t a you know a unit that takes up two slots to so throw out there. I'm not sure if that's going to be worth taking along, if that's the case. You know, I can't see what's really great about the thing. It's got less damage than the um, than the anti paladin here. It's also got less initiative. Maybe it attacks multiple units. I don't know. Oh, actually, you know what? This is actually a unit I can possibly, like, you know, um, if I get the Labyrinth, I can actually possibly get, like, uh, um, another unit I can basically purchase, like, right um, outright. So, this would be, like, I, I think I would purchase, like, outright. So, we have to train up, like, our, like, you know, Berserker, the, um, the Andrew Paladin. We just uh, purchase the theme right away. I think that's how it works with this guy. Sometimes you have, like, units that are, like, you know, um, they, like, they upgrade to stuff. A lot of times you'll have units that, like, you know, um, I think, like, this guy, you just, like, once you build this, you can actually build them right out, right, the Fiend. So it's just basically, like, you know, a unit can build right real quick. So that's not bad to have. Alright, other stuff in here. I'm trying to go after Succubus just to, to show it off. I don't think I'll be using the three units too much on this, um, you know, this tree, but... I'll show them off at some point, so might as well do them now. Yes, yes. Your request. Okay, it is developing up there, so... We're eventually going to grab this terrain over here, I think. Yes, yes. There's a healing scroll. There's treasures down there. You know, I bet that orc's pretty nasty, but let's fight him. As you so, orcs are a small mouse status and are used to sort of forward by tribe chieftains. Basically, it's a tier 1 unit with lots of HP. Fairly good attack, but not good at greatest initiative, basically. So, smack. Smack. Oh, I missed. That's bad. Smack. Ooh, he took a hit. That's really worse. This guy, this guy's probably gonna kill if I'm not careful. Um, he's definitely dead. I think the, the berserker. And yep. Yeah. Oh, he missed. He was gonna survive, perhaps. Maybe. Kill him. Okay, he lives. Cool. Oh, no he doesn't. Or he does. This guy could attack him because like, he was, you know, in the back row there. And there's my, like, you know, unit. Level up to be a witch. Hitting the deaths of the forest, evil witches conjure the forces of evil for terrifying enemies. If they cannot flee, they will paralyze. He still needs a lot of XP to or experience level up, but whatever. I probably want to get his upgrades, you know, thing soon. So cool. That's done. Let's go build. The Spire maybe next? Your request. 
Okay, lots of mountains there. Interesting. We're starting to see terrain finally. You know, think about I might get the flag planter out just to do exploration perhaps. That's something I might want to do. Oh, I don't have the money for it, so we can't do that just yet. Potion restoration there. Gonna bring this guy back to heal up a little bit. Sorry, okay, this guy some experience to, you know, level up. Kill the goblins. Now we're all going to attack, like, you know, probably this guy, so... Kill him. Oh, a miss. It's the Marvel or the gargoyles. Oh, cool! They're going after gargoyle. Nice. So here's the witch, basically doing her thing. She basically paralyzes stuff, so they can't attack. Basically, he can't do anything if I like skip my turns here. He basically can't, you know, he skips his turn when it comes to attack. Now she's basically only got like you know seventy five percent chance to hit. So, um, basically. She's only able to target one unit and like paralyze them so they can't do anything, so it's like, you know, kind of weak, but it can be very powerful if like, you know, you paralyze the right enemy with these, uh, you know, witches and succubuses when you get to it. And there's another orc over there, apparently. Um, he does have good armor, but we'll switch him up, I think, for our next battle. There's a boat out there, apparently. Your request? Wonder who's out there. Yes, yes. Nice stuff. This might be tricky, but we'll try and take out this orc here. Hit him. Oh, I missed that shot. Ow. Nice miss. Now, if I paralyze him, that'll make this fight a lot easier, because now I basically can't, like, you know, get his shot off. Kill him. Bang. Oh, so yeah, there's a miss happening, so I can't do anything now. To stop him from hitting this guy. But, he got killed before it happened, so it's fine. Four experience to level him up. That guy's getting experience up too. There's a city over there, that's nice. A large muff is over there, apparently. There's a gold mine, that'll be nice to get. All the good stuff. Oh, that looks like the hero for... Um, the High Fodder. Now he can fly, right? So he's actually going to be able to avoid, um, you know, the water penalty, moving it over it, which is good for him, bad for me. Let's get one of you. She can fly, so I can send her over to explore the waters a little bit.
There's another one of those over here, apparently. He does a little bit of his battles, apparently. And he went after my guy here, so... He might be very dead. I don't see him surviving this. Nope. So here's the high fodder. No expression done right there. I'm gonna buy potions here if we need to. I don't want to get hurt too close to the, the you know the, the fire up there because he can actually like you know kill her if we're not careful. Yes, yes. I might be able to win a battle if I go after these guys. I might not. It's really touch and go. I think. Really, at this point, I should hold back and, like, you know, get these guys healed up, I think. So, let's do that. He gets that. That's slowly coming down toward that, finally. Let's get the um, the temple built now, I guess. I'm not sure if I'm drawing gold, which is a bit of an issue. I think I am drawing a little bit gold for the capital, but not a whole lot. Yes, yes. I need to get some healing going, though. Get him in a party. So I'm sending him back over here, I guess. Again. Again, he's over there, so we'll avoid fighting over there, so... This place, keep away for now, I guess. Again. Go over there. Icefall has got cast apparently. It's not attacking that boat apparently, so that makes me wonder what's in the boat. What is on that boat? You're gonna sit right there for now, I guess. Alright, this is going to be a difficult fight, but I want to take out this city, so let's get that going. As you so, Largemouth. Orcs are the small mouth. Sass are used to the far, blah blah. He's got 15 armor. Uh, I guess they're like the same thing. More or less, so... Doesn't matter who I go after first here. But I'll go after this guy here first. Hit him. Now we have for him, and him. I paralyze him, because I might be able to take out this guy in this turn if I'm lucky. Got him. Miss, unfortunate. There's another miss. RNG, it can really kill you if you're not careful. Or it can save you, who knows. It's RNG. Alright, that's done. Largemouth, rah! 
We will smash you. Rawr. Okay, cool. We got some gold for that. That's awesome. I'm tempted to go after him right now. I might do that. Might also sit in here. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, let's go after these guys. As you, order. you hit this guy. You hit that guy. You hit this guy. You hit him. He misses. Nice paralyze. That's a miss. That's a hit. That was a kill. A bit more experience. So that's done. Now I think over here we're going to get the uh, Again. plant flyer to build the... or bring this guy down. Nice thing about her is that she can ferry units around if I need to. A single unit if I need to. I should probably note something, by the way. Um, the Flag Planter Baroness there, she actually counts as like a hero. And I think she actually, she actually gains like experience if like you want her to, so... It's possible you can make this person into like, you know, a, a hero type of unit if you want. It doesn't really make sense to, but you could do that. Drop him off. You're gonna go exploring! Go in here with him. There's only slots in here for a couple of guys, though. That's something to note. I might want to level this up a little bit so I can get more guys in here. But... For now, let's just heal these guys up, and I'm going to send them up on their merry way, I think. Let's get ourselves... Oh, maybe we'll get our possessed, perhaps. And I'll have, like, a full line of, like, you know, melee fires to do some do my damage for me. They're mostly going to be campfire, but, you know, it's fine. Um, there's an orc champion over here. That could be an issue to fight, but... Well, we'll fight this guy, I guess. Let's see here. Fight this guy. Hit this guy. Hit this guy. Hit that guy. Oh, that's a miss. Ow. Yeah, I go after this guy first, so. They will do that. He's got no experience, though, so if he dies, it's not a big loss, but I don't want him getting killed regardless if I can. Get him. Get him. Kill him. And there we go, a bunch of kills. Good experience. He's almost leveled up to a Berserker himself. So we'll soon I have a second Berserker. There's apparently a griffin over there. Again. So someone has died. I think a thief for the dwarves just died, perhaps? I think it's the, the sound effect for them dying. It's hard to tell sometimes, like, who's, like, you know, dying and who isn't. There's a life potion. There's a mermaid over there, apparently. Cool. Yes, yes. 
I'm tempted to go after these guys, but I think we're gonna hold off them and try and level up Berserker perhaps. So we'll go after these guys first. I'll probably get my like, you know, guy killed, but Whatever. Let's do it. And you go after him. That's a nice miss. For some reason, we'll have to sorcerer on um, the witch over here, this guy did, but whatever. Bang. That's a miss. That's unfortunate. That's a miss. Heals the ar archer there, apparently. But that doesn't matter, he's dead. Nope, he died, so that did happen. She missed twice, and that can happen. Cool, a bit more experience. Uh, I need to build the Unholy Portal apparently for that guy to get upgrade, so that has to happen. That's unfortunate, I could have leveled them up right there. Well, we'll have to build this then. Get the Berserker. Yes, yes. Giant Blood Potion done. You can see the trees getting converted into spikes, I guess, over here. You're having fun, I guess. I think we'll probably hire someone to replace that, like, you know, dead, um, guy. Because I can't do it right now, I guess, so don't worry about it too much. Again. They cast something called Might, Might there. Alright, bit more gold, bit more death mana. I think we got this resource over here now. Yeah, we got this chaos magic now, so we're starting to roll into death magic finally. Uh, there's a barbarian over there and a couple of archers. I might want to go after them at some point. Oh, you can actually pick up stuff from the back if. Uh, you approach him from the back side, so we'll do that right now with him. Yes, yes. You get over here. And... Oh, let's see here. Like, I could resurrect this guy, but it seems a bit of a waste to resurrect him. So... Let's dismiss this guy. And Stever is going to hire a replacement for him. There we go. I'm not sure how tough mermaids are going to be, but. They're probably tough. Let's see how tough this guy is. So, Griffin. Griffins live in the realm of the elves. Often uses mounts there. Serious threat when encountered battle. Wow, that's a good amount of damage there. And he's got fairly good initiative, too. He also attacks adjacent units, but, you know, whatever. That takes a guy takes a hit. Nice paralyze. There's his level up. So now I got two berserkers. Let's just switch them like that, I think. 
again. Yeah, that's pretty good for now, I think. So I know this is the, de the demon up here, the demon silver is for us, but I wonder which one here is for the dwarf. And which one's for the high fodder. Go there, we're gonna swap your items to him over now. Now I still have these items over here, to like the Staff of Thunder and stuff. I might want to go sell them, so... Let's have her do that. She'll just sell the stuff and get some money. I'm gonna keep the scrolls for now, because I might be able to use them just to show them off, so... If I can, I will. Okay, you're here. So I can sell this for 120 gold, apparently. 360 for that. Well, I still want to get the money, so sell. 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 A little bit of money. Now we have stuff to do, you know, stuff with. Let's start building up the uh, Mage Tower. And researching, researching, researching. I have no idea what the illusions basically do for us, so I might want to look after them. And let's see, Renner's target party invisible until they perform an action. Replenish a small area of fog of war which protects our... This is a really nice one to have. Uh, depletes 100% of target moving points parallel for one day. Really, really useful, but it requires death magic. Um, inflicts 60 points of uh, mind damage. So this requires life and infernal. Infernal and death. Infernal and death and infernal and death. So I basically need like, you know, different um, life, you know, uh, mana types for some, you know, more advanced spells apparently. That's not bad, but I think we'll probably, you know, go with uh, simple stuff. Let's see what this does first. So, test this one right here. The Hellhound's illusion nature immunizes against magic. This aura will dissipate as soon as it encounters an enemy, last three days. So, this is basically an illusion, I guess, that can be used to, um, you know, wander around the terrain, but it can't be uh, able to attack stuff. There's the Empire right there, apparently. Also stuff in the water. Now he is like, you know, uh, um, this guy is basically, you know, one of those guys that uh, doesn't move very fast. Yes. Move it right there. I might go after this guy right here. I think we will just to try and capture right now. So, Orc Champion. Only the Orcs of the Big Mouth rank can aspire to become Orc Champions. Feared and honored leaders of nomadic tribes. Good damage on him, but fairly low initiative at least. This guy could live if I'm lucky, but most likely he won't. Okay, hits this guy. Oop, that was enough damage to do on him. Hit him. That's a miss. Oh, I knew this guy was going to die eventually, so there he goes, I guess. Paralyzed him so I can't do anything. Boink. Paralyze him. There's a miss. I'm not doing too well with the hits, to be honest. They're really, really bad. 
Paralyze him. There he goes. Well, there's a bit more experience for my guys. He's at least halfway to his you know next level. He's not doing too bad to becoming a succubus at some point. So, um, Ali Shinda. Amidst the charred ruins of the library, I found a magical stroll that could be of help to our quest, my lord. Don't know who that uh, person is, but okay. Um, again, I think we'll probably just dismiss this guy. And we'll just buy, like, you know, a new guy to go in here, I think. Something I might do, by the way, is move to Gargoyle over here. And, like, defend this city, because it's basically a big city. Might do that. Look at this guy. Put you right there. Let's get the High Temple built for the Succubus, I guess. Next time. Oh, he's going to summon something to attack my illusion. There's the Living Armor again. See, I won't say if it gets, it gets attacked, it gets attacked. That's the nice thing about my illusions, right? They can, like, cause him to, like, waste his mana. And yeah, over here... You guys stay in there for a little bit, just so you can heal up. You're gonna go down here and pick up the unit for us. I'm not gonna worry about this city, I don't think I'll just leave it basically unmanned for the most part. I'll basically move this guy back there. Yes. I'm sort of you know walking of death here because I could get attacked by a summon again, but basically that's where like you know the um the Empire can come out to attack me over there. And that's about it. There's my death mana, so if I get that, I can get the death spells. I like these early scenarios. They're basically allowing you to like to experiment with stuff and learn what it's all about. That's what I'm basically you know taking away from. Okay, you get to stay in here. You up a little bit. Huh. Thought this is a bigger city, but I guess it's only a small one. It is a bigger city by a little bit, but not a whole lot, basically. Let's get them out there, right there, those two. And you know what? We're going to upgrade the city, I think, to make it bigger. This will be my defensive city, basically, so... We'll defend ourselves with it. Okay, you can summon... Right there. There's the Hellhound. You can like move over here. 
Oh, there's this guy right there. Captain Cores again. There's a hill giant. That's basically to support you for the, you know, the dwarves. Alright, let's go in here and we get the high temple here built. And now we're going to look at spells to uh, research. I like this because it's basically locked down here so they can't do anything. But I think we'll maybe aim for getting this. Get that research done. Yes. I might send these guys out to start attacking stuff, so... Let's get you going this way, I guess. He summons yet again our living armor to attack me. Okay. Find my me, waste this mana. <laughs> 